Thank you, Mary Ann, for playing the Congress. And oh, Alan, for that great song. Thank you. Okay, put this down. Good morning again. Good morning. So my talk today is on say yes. Let's think about that. When I put this, I, I in and I put talk titles together from what comes from home office. And this one was something about yes. And I said, well, let's say yes. And, I, and then afterwards I thought, what, what's that? But then ever since I put that down, I've been saying yes over and over in my head. Oh, say yes to that, say yes to that. And it's incredibly uplifting. So I wanna talk about that this morning. Because this teaching, this philosophy, this way of life <coughs> that we talk about here is about saying yes. Saying yes to knowing our own power. Diving deep in healing old beliefs. This philosophy takes courage, doesn't it? It takes courage and it takes a bold yes. I've written a couple of bold yeses up here to keep help help us stay on track. Saying yes to life means we understand that there is a power in this world greater than we are. And I think that's really important for us to understand that when we say yes, even, even when we find ourselves in what I found that young woman in this morning in good trouble, say yes. This power is in you and this power is all around you and it is there for you to use. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, bold yes. Yes. Good. Facebook, hope you're saying that. Our job is to open, to connect, to connect to this power more and more and more. This is where our treasures of our own personal existence will exist and be found. Are you willing to find your treasure this morning? Yes. 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 Good. Yes. Bold. Yes. Saying yes takes courage. Yes moves us beyond our doubts and fears. Anybody in doubt and fear this week? Just say yes. Oh yes, isn't that fun? <laughs> this morning, let's try this on. What do you have to lose? Maybe your doubts, maybe your fears. Are you willing to say yes? Yes. 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 Great. Are you willing to say, yes, I am worthy? Yes, yes I am worthy. Good. <laughs> I say yes to being fully connected to the limitless source of love. We have talked about this over and over again, that God, the spirit of life, is love. So when we say yes to that spirit of life, we say yes to an unlimited source of love. I say yes to falling in love with myself. Now let's think about that. As a little kid, when I would have fun and I'd say, oh, I really like myself, they would chastise me for that. So today we're going to say yes to falling in love with our own divine nature. Yes? Yes. yes. Good. I say yes to falling in love with life. Mm. Because, you know what? I, we can push against anything and everything that's going on in life. Or we can fall in love with our own divine nature and say, okay, this is good trouble. This is good trouble because whenever we see trouble, we know that a change is going to take place. Yes? Yes. yes. Falling in love means I'm willing to cancel any negative thought, any fear, any judgment that interrupts my trust and my joy. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Think about that. 
How many times during the day have we allowed our joy or our trust to be interrupted by some kind of buzzing thought or, or a phone call? It's up to each one of us to stay in faith and to imagine a perfect outcome. I've been working with this and it works. What is the perfect outcome that you wish to have with whatever it is that's taking place in your life? Start to imagine it. What we imagine is our key to success. Saying yes because we, we know there's an unlimited source supplying each and every one of us is the key. Asking you shall receive, knock and the door shall be open. We hear that. But how many of us take it literally and say, I have a right to ask and have an answer. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that you're going to get an instant answer. But when we have the imagination that an answer will come, I guarantee you it will. Learning to say yes means I'm willing to call upon the unique life force within me for support. Are you willing to call upon that life force to support you? It's there. It's up to each one of us to partner with spirit, moment by moment, day by day. So I ask you this morning, are you ready? Yes. yes. Good, a couple of you are. <laughs> so how do we each stay in this say yes energy? Hmm, that's the question. I love how things just show up for me. Because you see, I trust that when I'm working on something like this, that, that the right thing's going to show up at the right time. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> but this week, I had ordered this book, and it's Neville Goddard. I don't know if any of you have read Neville Goddard, but he's a brilliant, brilliant writer. And so whenever I get a book, I was just open it. Does anybody do that? Just, oh, it's a new book. Ooh, I don't start at the beginning. <laughs> What's this book have for me, I ask. So I did that. Got the book, boom, opened it up. Guess what? Chapter 10. Things which do not appear is the title. That was interesting. And it, it starts out with Hebrew 11, uh, 3. What is seen was made out of things which do not appear. Now, hear that. That comes from the Bible. That's in Hebrews. What is seen was made out of things which do not appear. Hmm. So then I read down further, and it says, by, man, by man's imaginary activity, all things are made. And without such activity, was not anything made that was made. It is for us to assemble the images of a happy outcome and then keep from interfering. Now hear that. It is up to us to image a happy inner, in, uh, uh, outcome. A happy outcome. And don't interfere with it. Don't mess with the system. Ooh. I don't know about you, but that should be easy. It says the event must not be forced, but allowed to happen. Hear that? Got to be right now. Anybody say that? Uh -huh. Do prayer. Thank you, God. Right now. Okay. So here's the story. Now, is this perfect, you guys? It's perfect. It goes right, right along with say yes. So here's the story. To imagine a substitute image for unwanted or defective content is to create it. If only we persist in our ideal imaginal activity, imaginal, yes, that's what it is, says, and do not let lesser satisfaction suffice, 
Ours shall be the victory. So here's the story. It says, I decided to do something about a young boy in my husband's school. To tell all the problems involved would take pages for my husband has never had such a difficult child nor such trying parental, parental situation. The lad was too young to be expelled from school, yet the teachers all refused to have him in their classes. To make matters worse, the mother and the grandmother literally camped out on the school grounds, making trouble for everyone. I wanted to help the boy, but I also wanted to help my husband. So, she says, so nightly, I constructed two scenes in my imagination. One I saw, a perfectly normal, happy child. Two, I heard my husband say, I can't believe it, dear, but you know, you know R is acting like a normal boy now, and it's heaven on earth not having those two women around. <laughs> she did this every night. After two months of persisting in my imaginal play, night after night, my husband came home and said, it's like heaven around school, he said. Not exactly the same words, but close enough for me. The grandmother had become involved in something that took her out of town, and the mother had to accompany her. At the same time, a new teacher had welcomed the challenge of, of, the challenge of R, and he was prospering wonderfully well into all I imagined for him. Ah, let me take a breath in that. It makes a difference when we imagine for those that we love a perfect good outcome. I don't know about you, but I've been guilty of watching some bad behavior and repeating it in my mind. Anybody else? You don't have to raise your hand. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So let's start with yes, a bold yes. I'm thankful. I, I love my life. I savor this. I love that word savor. It reminds me of a good meal I ate the other day best outcome. We want all the people in our life to succeed, so let's imagine that for them, like this woman did. Imagination is our creative instrument. It's free. We can use it. Say yes to imagining the very best outcome in your life, in the life of your loved ones. Resistance to life's events, repeating what's wrong, looking at what isn't working. Everybody breathe in that. Creates more lack. Worry creates more worry. Let's stop it. Say yes. Allow what you notice to become your tool for change. If you notice war, See the outcome of peace, perfect outcome. If you see anger, get out of the room, but see peace. Change is your tool. You can use it. To change your thinking, change your life, takes imagination. This is what our, our whole thing is that we talk about. Change your thinking, change your life. What is it you wish to change in your life? Take a moment, just bring to mind what it is you wish to change in your life. Breathe into it. Now what can you imagine right now that you would like to experience in that situation or see take place? Start with your yes by focusing on aspects in your life that you like. Practice yes. One of the things I practice every night, I love my bed. 
I love how my bed feels. When I get in it at the end of the day, I lay there and I say, I love this bed. It's one of those beds in a box. Crazy thing. It's the best bed I've ever slept on. I love this bed. And I love that I'm finally finished with my day. Do you see? I love how my home embraces me. This morning, a bluebird was trying to get into our bedroom. I don't know why. I love how my dog greets me and is always excited to see me. He doesn't ever turn around and say, where have you been? <laughs> I love driving through this beautiful countryside. Nature blesses me everywhere I go in Placer County, Nevada County. Sometimes if I'm really tired from the day, especially on Sundays sometimes, because I get up really early. I'll take a drive out to Grass Valley, Nevada City. Just those tall trees renew, refresh me. What are you saying yes to in your life? When we give our yes more power, more power, we create more yes events. Our thinking, our imagination, our vibration, is always creating. Now, you, we all need to know this. If we, if we start with the judgment, worry, fear, we expand it. Check in. Where is your attention? What are you focused on? What are you focused on this morning? And it's okay. Say, oh, yeah, okay. Call yourself back to the bold yes. I like this. I'm grateful for this. I savor this. Gets my juices running. <laughs> Begin your, your yes with a list of your blessings. What's, what's being blessed in your life? I am thankful for, finish that sentence. I'm thankful for, I love my life. What is it in your life that you love? I, I adore being in the right place at the right time. Open, open your heart to your sacred yes by imagining the best outcome to take place. Like that wife did for her husband and the young child. When fear or worry enters, say no. And I have that. I do. I have these pictures of, <laughs> of fear just pop up in my head. Anybody? And I just say no, that's not my truth. Because you see, we have to talk, our, our mind is only going to repeat to us what we have put into it. Or maybe we watched a horror movie. And I try not to watch those anymore because they scare me. And when I say no, I won't follow that thinking. That's not the direction I choose to go in. No more calibrating to old beliefs or fears. Instead, let's say yes to how we wish life to be. Yes, this is how I wish it to turn out. So I'm not going to worry between now and when it shows up because worry is going to bring more worry. Yes? yes? Yes. Say yes to success. I expect this room to be filled up. It's slow, but it's sure. Yes? Yes. yes. Bold, yes. Good. Calibrate your attention to be totally and completely supported by life. Because in our imagination, we create the unseen until it shows up in the scene. What are you willing to say yes to today? Let's take that into our mind and our thinking. What are you willing to say yes to today? Expand that. Imagine. 
Well, let's take it into prayer. So we know and accept that there's only one power, one all-loving, all-nurturing, all-embracing presence by whatever name. I call this God, the infinite, the divine, the beloved. It is here, it is now. It is the very life that lives and breathes within me. And what I know is true of me, I absolutely know is true of each and every one of us here and each and every person looking at this on Facebook. And those that are yet to be seen this, there's only one life. And it is unique and special and divine within and throughout all that you are and all that you are yet to be. I accept this. I know this truth greater this morning than ever before. And we stay open and available to that sacred yes. Yes. And moving into creating and imagining a life beyond our wildest dreams. A life of love and friendship and prosperity and joy and gratitude. In every moment, we give thanks. In every moment, we give thanks for this moment, this time, this space. And all that it brings to us, the gift of life. In the beauty of nature. In the love that lives within our hearts. I know and accept that for each and every person who is desiring a healing, I know that right where you are, God is. That this powerful healing presence is taking place, touching every cell, every muscle, every fiber of your body temple. Renewing, refreshing, and reminding you that you are the beloved place where God shows up. This is what I know to be true. And greater than what I can speak in words, I know is already taking place in the mind of God. And I trust the divine that lives within me and the divine that lives within you. And so we say a bold yes, yes. Yes to life. Yes to joy and gratitude and love. First for ourselves. And then for those around us. Peace and harmony in the world. This is what I know. I recognize that these words spoken are powerful and they draw to us, each and every one of us, a greater truth, greater life, greater love. And so I just release this, my powerful word, into the ever-living, loving law of God that always says yes, knowing it returns to and through each and every one of us, multiplied, magnified, and spilling over. We are full of it and we're proud of it. And together we say, if you're in agreement, and so it is.